So falconry is the oldest land sport known to man. It dates back over 4,000 years. It's the uh, hunting wild game of natural habitat by means of trained bird of prey or raptor like killed the female Harrison saw. I've been a falconer for almost six years now in Prince George's County, Maryland. And I uh, love it, never gets old. What up? I'm going, um... Yeah, with uh, one more thing. <laughs> Got the hawk name, but what's the hawk name? Hilda. Hilda, yes. Yep, yep. Right here, my friend. She is a female Harris's hawk. Um, Harris hawks are very popular in the falconry world because they're the only pack hunting rabbit species that hunt packs like wolves and cooperatively, cooperatively take game like rabbits, uh, jackrabbits, quail, ducks, and um, a lot of different other quarry species. So, yeah, Hilda is about three years old now is very accustomed to me she has her hood on right here which keeps her calm so when you take away hawk's vision or um uh, cover their eyes that means they tend to calm down relatively quickly and stand pretty still <laughs> thing if she catches it. Come on. Oh okay. bro. Okay. Alright, so there's one right there. Where where you go? Where? Yes. I should go home. Okay. Yeah you got Lesson here, you gotta be careful with those things because they are very okay. you know? Yep, like you put that. <laughs> but it only hurts for like a part. Okay. Right here, back in September, the squirrel in here, mm -hmm. in the basement. Yeah. I pulled that vine right there. You can see the dog start coming down and singing me. Okay. Let's see right here. I will see the horns left inside of it. Ow. We're cutting right here. We're cutting right here. We're cutting right here. Passionate by nature because uh, when I was growing up, I used to love watching animal documentaries, dinosaur documentaries. I used to love being outside, catching uh, lizards and butterflies, all that good stuff. And I never was the type of person to be on video games all the time. And I always loved being outside, running around in the wilderness, and doing stuff, finding stuff to do. And falconry is just another part of that, it's another level doing that. So, yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna do is pull these vines over here. Come here, girl. Come on, get up. Yeah. Get up, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, get up. Falconry has changed my life because it taught me patience, it taught me um, things about myself, about others, about the animals I'm dealing with, about the husbandry of different animal species like raptors and um, teach me that nobody's the same, everybody got different personalities, different opinions, different point of views, a lot of things. And uh, yeah, it's a blessing that I'm able to 
do something that not a lot of people get the opportunity to do in the world, and I'm happy to be a part of that. to travel and I always wanted to go to different countries and learn about different species, different habitats, different ecosystems down there. I always wanted to uh, get out my comfort zone and learn different things about animals and stuff that I love doing. That's why I got into falconry because I first saw it in Midwood Times when my sister and a Girl Scout troop took a field trip there and there was a falconer flying a peregrine falcon around the Midwood Times Stadium and I told myself I don't know when, I don't know what time, I don't know where, but one day I'm going to do this, in my lifetime I'm going to do this, so I, so I did. What are you looking at? Yeah, something. What do you see? Okay. Yeah. That's what's coming up in this way. Can I stay close there no matter what? What do you see, girl?
advice is always um, keep your head up and ne never give up what you want to do what you want to accomplish because if you give up that will never happen you know you, your accomplishments will never come true if you give up but if you keep focusing and doing what you're supposed to do and reading and be passionate about something you really want to get accomplished and really want to achieve that goal don't give up because you'll get it done if you really have a mindset to win and you always will um, find joy in what you do if you get a um, good job done So Alpha, he is named Alpha because my sister, my sister named him one thing and just stuck. But I named him Alpha because he's a uh, very independent and very uh, inspirational. Very aggressive. Uh, pretty much, yeah, Alpha, pretty much the. Uh, this is my new mink enclosure for a baby mink I'm getting from my friend Joseph Carter in Utah. So I built it. Um, the ground piece from scratch. I built it off the ground so the meat can dig out. And I put uh, 14 gauge, one but one half inch wire on the bottom. So you can't get through the wood. And on top of the wire, I put on plywood. And this opens up. It's not finished yet, but that opens up slightly so I can get to them. This has a lock on it. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a swimming pool right here. There's little towels in here. All it's gonna be covered in aspirin savings and a little substrate. So he'll be uh, filled at home. And yeah, so it's gonna be a little update when the mint gets here. Now, she is uh, still a work in progress. She has killed a pigeon that my friend brought over and tied it down for practice. So yeah, she has some hunting experience, but she's not uh, the best she did, but she's not the best she did. But a little more time of season. Uh, her name was Naira. I named her from uh, a book series and a movie called Legend of the Guardians, Isles of In the series, Naira was the queen of the now. So, so Naira, Captain bred female barn owl. Got it from a licensed breeder named Mike Dupuis in Pennsylvania. I'm a licensed farmer. Can acquire any native raptor species in the United States without a proper permit or license. 
Jesus. But yeah, she's a captain bred, and she's in French school. Some things about my dad, because I read it from the Bible. Um, outlet. So yeah.